funeral crew on Tottenham High Road, uh, but uh, unfortunately they have had to withdraw over safety fears, uh, as have another of other camera crews as well. Uh, now our Home Affairs correspondent Mark White joins us on the phone. Uh, Mark, what's the latest then? Well, it's still a situation that remains very tense, very volatile. Uh, police are um, trying to push back uh, the remaining crowds from Tottenham High Road, but in doing that, they're scattering up some of the side streets. Uh, and there is some pockets of disorder uh, from those groups. Uh, we were showing uh, some viewer-generated uh, content, uh, mobile phone footage from uh, a viewer of uh, two vans on fire, uh, another property that looked to be ablaze at Riola Close, uh, which is a housing estate just next to the Tottenham High Road. So these are worrying pictures, an indication really of what uh, police sources are telling me, which is that uh, as these crowds are being pushed back, they are um, vandalising property, smashing windows, uh, throwing bricks and other objects at the police as they try to disperse them. So it's certainly not a situation uh, that has ended in any way, it continues. Uh, we don't have the level of violence that we had a few hours ago, but it is still of concern, and that's why uh, police have activated uh, Gold Control, the GT Control, uh, in Lambeth, in South London. That's now been manned uh, by senior commanders as they just uh, try to marshal all the resources into this area of North London to try to contain the violence that's there and to try to stop it spreading. You know, you talk about marshalling the resources, I mean, a phenomenal amount of resources have been dispersed to Tottenham this evening, and obviously uh, significant fears that this violence could spread. We have been hearing reports that there have been pockets of uh, violence that have uh, broken out in surrounding areas. Yes, that's right. I mean, and it's not just Metropolitan Police Officers now. Uh, City of London uh, Police Officers uh, have been brought in to uh, help uh, their colleagues from the Met uh, deal with this. Uh, there is a significant police presence there now, which is clearly a drain uh, on policing the capital anyway on a Saturday uh, night through into uh, Sunday morning, which is a busy period uh, to police any major city anyway. Um, but now they're having to divert significant resources uh, to this area of North London uh, to try to get, uh, try to put a lid on it, try to make sure uh, that these disturbances don't spread. But unfortunately, uh, with the tactic they've adopted, which is to try to get uh, the main body of rioters away from this very busy high street, there is the danger that you then have uh, violence elsewhere. And we are seeing that now with sporadic uh, outbreaks of violence, setting fire to vehicles, vandalising uh, property and uh, attacking the police uh, in other nearby areas. Mm. Well, we're, yeah, we're just seeing those scenes of two vans that were set on fire near residential area in Riola Close, which is just off Tottenham High Road. Uh, uh, the v same viewer has just sent us some more pictures as well of uh, a police van uh, that we can see. Yeah, we're just seeing pictures, Mark, of a police van that was set on fire. Um, we've just received those pictures. Uh, it's, it's clear that the situation isn't uh, quietening down in any way, shape or form. Just after midnight, it did seem it was somewhat calmer and quieter, but that, that doesn't seem to be the situation there now. No, it's, uh, I mean, it's still a very uh, volatile situation, as I said, it's potentially a very dangerous. You've got uh, a group of very angry, uh, mainly young people in that area, uh, angry at the shooting dead of a 29-year-old local man, Mark Duggan, in a police operation on Thursday. Uh, there was always a potential for trouble, uh, and that is now what's happened. Uh, the hope is that perhaps after letting off some steam, uh, that uh, you know the, the trouble will uh, diminish somewhat. But it is still uh, very tense out there. There are still uh, pockets of violence. That police vehicle uh, that you saw there uh, being attacked uh, looked like it was one of those big plastic um, wheel bins that had been actually pushed up against uh, the van itself that uh, just one of a number of police vehicles uh, which was uh, which had been attacked two police cars were set alight at the beginning of these disturbances on Tottenham High Road uh, it was bad enough then but uh, really escalated uh, in the hours after that uh, to the situation that we have at the moment where on Tottenham High Road itself uh, things are a lot calmer uh, but in the side streets and the housing estates 
away from Tottenham High Road, potential for uh, some significant disorder breaking out there. Mm. And indeed, we've now had to withdraw our camera crews uh, from the area because they were uh, concerned for their safety after being surrounded by uh, sort of gangs of youths, if you like. Uh, of course, that is a, a huge problem within that area. The ethnic mix that is in that area is a hugely volatile situation to try and contain. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a very angry parts of it anyway, a very angry community uh, in light of what happened on Thursday. But generally, there is uh, a suspicion of uh, the police uh, from uh, certain parts of the community. Uh, relations have not been good at all over the years. They're better than they used to be, but uh, it doesn't take much. Uh, and the shooting dead uh, by police of a 29-year-old local man certainly something that's part of uh, quite a bit of uh, trouble, as you can see. Uh, and camera crews uh, coming under attack is, is no surprise to me. It happens uh, on a regular basis when we're covering these kinds of events. Uh, we become a focus, uh, especially if uh, police lines have pushed uh, groups away from uh, perhaps the, the area they want to uh, carry out uh, their disorder in. Uh, they focus on other things, and camera crews, unfortunately, are sad. Um, I the times are often the focus for, for that uh, anger. Mm, indeed. Okay, Mark White, uh, thanks very much for that update. Well, uh, someone that's uh, been warning the police that uh, there were high tensions within the area following uh, that shooting of uh, Mark Duggan on Thursday evening. He has uh, released a statement, the MP for Tottenham, David Lammy, saying the scene.